God is not in the enabling business. God is in the empowering business. Maybe you're familiar with the imagery of a speaker. A speaker is just oftentimes a cone. And it doesn't really make music on its own. It doesn't make sound on its own. It has to be moved. It has to be empowered. And so what you do is you hook up a power source to the speaker, something that can give it power, something that can send a signal to it to move it to where it, it moves the air and creates sound. Now, there's a lot that I don't understand in it, but I think that's the general idea. So I want us to think about a passage in 2 Timothy, and this is in uh, chapter 1 and verse 7, and this is an incredible verse. I think I know I'm, I'm pretty sure I've used it before, but I think it's one that can encourage us quite frequently. And I think it's one that we need to keep at the forefront of our minds. Paul says to Timothy, God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Therefore, so because God has given us that spirit of power and love and self-control, because of that, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share in the suffering for the gospel by the power of God. God is in the empowering business. He empowers us like a speaker is empowered, given power. But God gives us the power to be loving, to be powerful, to, be, to have self-control, and to not fear what either is or what may come. There are a lot of people right now with a lot of fear. There are a lot of people with anxiety. There are a lot of people even with depression. And I'm not saying that this text in particular is going to suddenly fix <laughs> all of your fear or all of your maybe struggles to show love or perhaps your if you struggle with self-control, that kind of thing. But I want you to know that God can help you. God has given you the resources to follow in the footsteps of Timothy. He has given us a, a, a spirit, not of fear, but of power, of love, and self-control. And he empowers us to do his work. God gives us the Holy Spirit, the great comforter, the one that comes alongside us and helps us in our struggles. Now, just in the same way that there's a lot that I don't understand about how a speaker works and how the amplifier works and all that, there's a lot that I don't understand about the Holy Spirit. But I do know that He's wonderful. And I do understand that God empowers us through the Holy Spirit. And so, God has given us plenty of resources, but one of those resources is the Holy Spirit. And He has given us that Holy Spirit in order to do the work that we're given. The point today is this. Don't think that you're limited. Understand that God is for you. And he wants to empower you to do wonderful things in his kingdom. If you want to talk more about it, feel free to drop a comment below. Reach out to us. And whatever we can do, we'll help you. Have a great day.